So the next one that we want to talk about is desire. How is desire born? Well, desire is born through sensories. Um, let's see, you see a, a, a beautiful horse from the distance and you say, wow, what a beautiful horse. So far so good, you recognize that's a horse. So you go further, closer. And when you go closer, so your, your eyesight connected with that horse and you were interested in it, you're there to see horses. So your eyesight connected with it and then you go closer. Now you can actually hear the sound of the running the horse or smell the area where the horses are. Now the sensor is coming to the picture. Now they're having a say into that whole experience. And until you get closer to the horse and it's right in front of you, the horse looks at you. Now the energy exchange. And then you pat the horse. Now you touch the horse. Now as soon as you touch the horse or you sit on the horse, then you start, all your sensors help you to see how it feels to be on this horse. And then the thought jumps in and gets a hold of all those senses, the smell, the touch, the sight, the what you saw the horse, the fact that you're sitting on it and you're touching it, takes all those sensors and turn them into an image. The image of you riding this horse, competing some competition and seeing yourself riding all geared up and you know enjoying yourself with some outing or with some parkour you're trying to negotiate and jump over see yourself in some kind of competition how your friends will look at you what they would say you see all this image and that's when the image is created the desire is born now you say i want this horse i want to buy it i want to own it i want to have it so if you can separate or stop the sensories to be hijacked or used by thoughts to be turned into an image, then you will be away from the desire having been born. You stopped it. Like you see a car in an auto show. You see a red car. Your eyesight touches it. So you go closer and other sensors come into the picture. You touch the car. You sense it. You put the hood up and you smell the new engine. You sit in the car the smell of a new car. You sit behind the wheel and now all these sensors together makes you see yourself, the benefits you receive, how you look in that car when you drive it. Maybe you'll have your girlfriend sit beside you. You imagine that, how your friends will look at you, what you feel when you're driving this car in the street or in the open air. And all those are now taken by the thoughts and the image is created. Those images that I just talked to you about, how it looks, how you feel and all that. And once that image is created, you say, I want to buy the car. I want this car. So if you can somehow stop yourself from the moment that all these sensors come to the picture, but stop it from turning into image, you've dealt with the desire and the impulse buying or whatever it is that is fascinated you to make an action or, or buy it or want it or desire is born.